After several months of closure, Portland's Biddick Mansion is once again welcoming visitors. Yeah, all excited for this one. Joe V's here to tell us what you can expect when you go to visit the historic home. Hey, Joe. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, Henry Piddick moved into his massive home in 1914. 50 years later, it had been abandoned, fell into disrepair. It was on the verge of being torn down, but instead it was repaired and reborn as a museum that's now in Portland's most famous and photographed locations. That's a fancy way of saying this old home has been through a lot, and now you can walk through its historic doors once again. With Jennifer Britt, the associate director of the Pittig Mansion. Uh, Jen, last time I spoke to you, it was in the spring. You had shut down. You actually started a virtual tour of the Pittig Mansion. Then you got to reopen, and you had to shut down again. Yes. Now you're reopened. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about kind of the experience, what it's like now when you visit the Pitting Mansion. We had some um, similar things in place for our summer opening as far as it's a one-way path, we have socially distanced groups, and um, it allows people to kind of have a little bit more intimate experience with the mansion. We've added more improvements, taking advantage of how they designed an open window concept to get fresh air in here. We have air purifiers in place on all levels. We want to try to make sure that people feel comfortable when they're visiting. Well, it's kind of cool. You feel like you got the whole mansion to yourself. So let's walk through it, shall we? This is the music room? Yes. We spread people out. A lot of times people feel like they're the only people in the house uh, when they're going through. And then if we do get a little busier, you know, we have, you know, designated stop. If people do have to wait a few moments for another group to go on, we try to, you know, either give them a view to enjoy or, you know, interpretive to read and, and just, you know, allow them to take in the room a little bit more. And still no playing the piano, right? I don't think still. that was ever allowed. <laughs> And I guess this would have been the second pandemic in this mansion, right? Because they had to deal with the Spanish flu over 100 they years did, ago. They did, yes. And that was actually at the time period when uh, Mr. Piddock died. He was um, suffering from flu-like symptoms. You know, we don't have it for sure, but there is a good chance that, you know, Henry Piddock, you know, might have passed from the Spanish flu. If you visit the mansion right now, there's actually a restoration project going on in one of the rooms right now. You've heard of going behind the scenes. You can actually go behind the wallpaper. Check this out. What we discovered was a steam pipe had sprung a leak, creating a, a sauna effect, and it started to mold the wallpaper. It is replaced, it, all this stuff is removed and taken care of, and now we're in a wait and see. And this is the original wall of the Pittig Mansion we're looking at right this here, This is right? plaster. We've discovered some really fascinating things about just how the building is constructed. How do you guys feel knowing that you get to welcome guests back? Oh, we're so excited. <laughs> we're just trying to do what we can to give the community an experience and something to do, engage Portland history. This is such a unique building. We have yet to find one that's built like this in the world. And so we really, you know, we really just want people to come out and enjoy. Uh, again, they're reopened now. You do want to get your tickets in advance, which you can get off the Pittock Mansion website. Guys, it's, you know, it's pretty fascinating. The history there, that place was almost torn down, as I mentioned earlier, in like the early 1960s. The community kind of rallied around it to save it. Otherwise, it wouldn't still be here. So, and obviously, they depend on admission to kind of keep things going, mm -hmm. do repairs like we saw there. So if you go out, support it. It's very cool to see, and it's obviously a treasure here for the Rose City. Yeah. Do you have a favorite part of the mansion? I love the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen's cool. I don't know, just that, that main foyer when you walk yeah, in and you got the staircase yeah. and there's a library right there. It's it's like, wow, so this is how that 0.1% lives. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's also okay. funny, something I learned there once is that in the where they had the staff live up on the top floor, yeah. all of the views from those windows, you oh. still get to see Mount Hood. And it's actually, they said, some of the best views from Much that like spot. the staff at your house. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah, no, but it's, I thought it was fascinating, I think it's you know? Neat. It's, it's so cool, yeah. I'm so glad you highlighted that. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm.